Now I'm going to talk about the MARPOLs. So the MARPOLs were environmental regulations that came about in 1973 uh, during the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships. So this was a convention of the agencies representing uh, maritime nations of the world and they got together to try to hammer out some rules and regulations that they would enforce in the respective nations and their vessels to try to minimize the amount of harmful pollution in the oceans that we all share. So it regulates the discharge of garbage from vessels, regulates the discharge of sewage, and it also prohibits the discharge of oil. So the vessel regulations uh, that are there to prevent or to minimize the amount of harmful pollution are contained in 33 CFR, which is the Code of Federal Regulations, and they are under subchapter O. Now these regulations not only explain what is legal to throw over the side and what is not legal to throw over the side, but they also have uh, certain items in there, uh, certain items in the regulations explaining what vessels must have or what they must not have uh, in order to prevent uh, harmful pollution from entering the, entering the waters. So we'll go and uh, take a look at these just really quick. I won't go into too much detail. So here we are once again at the Code of Federal Regulations. And we're going to go down to Title 33. Now remember, Title 46 is shipping. That's right here. But Title 33 is navigation in navigable waters. Since pollution is something that's a problem for the waters, it's under Title 33. So we're going to go to Title 33. And we'll go try the first 1 through 124 subchapters. Okay, so here we are, subchapter A, and it keep going down international navigation rules and so we only get to K so we go back we're gonna try this one and we're gonna go down to subchapter O pollution so under subchapter O are the regulations uh, dealing with pollution from vessels so we got vessels carrying oil noxious liquid substance garbage municipal or commercial waste and ballast water and uh, also we have oil and hazardous, hazardous material transfer operations, oil or hazardous material pollution prevention regulations for vessels. So one of the things I want to do, I'm going to go into this one really quick. And I want to go down. There's all kinds of regulations there. Oil record book, ships of countries, not party to Mart poll, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go down to placards right here. So 151.59, and it explains the vessels that must have a placard posted on board and what that pla placard uh, that placard says. So it gives a whole list of that. And so that's the one for garbage, and I'm going to get back to this shortly. But um, the other one that we want to take a look at is one for oil so here there's vessels carrying oil and so on and so forth and then we want to go down to oil or hazardous material pollution prevention regulations for vessels and again there's a whole slew of rules in here again and there's vessel equipment and placards again and I'll explain why I'm pointing out the placards so this one says a ship except a ship of less than 26 feet. I think it's nice to consider a ship of 26 feet or consider, consider a vessel of 26 feet a ship. But anyway, it must have a placard of at least 5 by 8 inches made of durable material fixed in conspicuous place in each machinery space or at the bilge and ballast pump control station stating the following. And then it has the placard here and that's something I'll get back to now as you can see the regulations are pretty large and if you're just going to be driving a small vessel around you just want to know what you can throw in what you can't throw in the water um, you know you can really get lost in these regulations so 
uh, that's kind of why I pointed out the placards because those are the main things that you're going to want to be aware of. So this is a garbage placard and this is required on vessels 26 feet and above in length and it explains what and where you can throw over the side. So it has a whole list of things on here. And um, I mean there's uh, uh, up to three miles you can't dump anything over the side. Three to twelve nautical miles uh, you can throw dunnage which is like cardboard or wood chunks lining and packing materials that float, all other trash if not ground to less than one inch. And then you have 12 to 25 nautical miles, uh, dunnage, lining, and packing materials that float. And then you have outside 25 nautical miles. You can pretty much dump everything over the side except plastic. And uh, the reason is because plastic is something that has been really causing a problem for the ocean because it never really breaks down. It gets into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces, but it doesn't go away. It doesn't work its way back into the environment. Unlike things like uh, paper products, food, like compost, um, that stuff works its way back into the environment and, you know, does very minimal damage glass sinks to the bottom and basically becomes like a rock. It even gets used by some of the marine life. Um, metals usually end up dissolving back into the environment eventually, but plastic is a real problem. So uh, vessels under the U.S. flag are prohibited from throwing plastic in the ocean. Other vessels that are participant to MARPOL also are, pro are prohibited. Uh, from throwing plastic over the into the ocean. So unless you're really getting into a uh, maritime career, um, you can, you know, this, this is what you're going to want to be aware of is just the rules laid out on this placard. If you are going to be operating in the professional marine environment, then you'll probably have to become more familiar with that subchapter O in Title 33. So the other placard that you'll want to be aware of is the oil pollution placard. And this also is required on vessels 26 feet and above in length. And um, so it prohibits the discharge of oil or oily waste in, into or upon the navigable waters of the United States or the waters of the contiguous zone or which may affect natural resources belonging to, appertaining to, or under the exclusive management authority of the United States. If such discharge causes a film or discoloration on the surface of the water, or causes a sludge or emulsion beneath the surface of the water, violations are subject to substantial civil penalties and or criminal sanctions, including fines and imprisonment. So this talks about upon the navigable, navigable waters of the United States. Um, so this is the one placard that's required to be posted.